Good day, Darlington County School District, and welcome back to another In the Know, where I have a chance to update you about the latest happenings from our most recent board meetings, as well as other things happening around the school district. It is just about September 1st, which means we are a full month into the school year. And uh, it's been a great start to the school year. I've been out in the buildings and just really encouraged by the conversations I'm having in the buildings about where our students are, uh, how they are getting focused on the work at hand that we're trying to get taken care of with them. And of course, uh, just in general, how all of our adults are supporting our students as we really get into the school year and find ways to help our students be as successful as possible. Also, with the time of year that we're in, it's high school football time. And so all three of our high schools have home football games this Friday. And so really excited for our teams to kick off the season. Of course, Lamar and Darlington kicked off last week with a very close game uh, that Darlington High School won. But Hartsville, Darlington, and Lamar are all at home this weekend. Excited for them. Excited for the new turf football fields that will be unveiled at both Darlington High School and Hartsville High School as well for their home games. So all the best to the Red Foxes, the Silver Foxes, and the Falcons. Uh, we hope all three are victorious this weekend. Please, if you're able to support our football team's cheerleaders, marching bands, and everybody associated with our home football games, I encourage you to do so. We also have a pretty big event in Darlington this weekend. It happens to be called the Cookout Southern 500 at the Raceway, where we have a lot of people in town that are visiting the Darlington area. So uh, I know many people will be at the race, uh, and if you're not at the race, just beware of all the traffic that's in town for this holiday weekend. And it would not be September without talking a little college football too. So I have my uh, tie on to represent what my college football team is this weekend. Whoever your college football team is this weekend, I hope you enjoy as the season kicks off as well. This past Monday, we had a work session and there were a few items that we discussed, the board had discussions about. Primarily, the three items were capital projects list, our test scores that we have received back from the state, and the communications audit next step. So as far as the capital list, again, we were working through the items uh, that are on that list. Uh, the turf football fields, for example, they're about to finish up, so they will fall off that list. We also have other projects that are ongoing throughout the district and just looking at ways that we are spending our capital monies to improve our facilities and take care of the needs at the school. We also had a pretty deep dive into the test scores, uh, the SE Ready test scores and the EOC test scores that we had. And we were able to look at those, the SC Ready scores, for example, by grade for the district, by grade for each school how that compares to the state, and just thoughts about how we are moving forward to address those test scores as well. We had pockets of success, uh, but we also have a lot of challenges. And so again, I am very focused on what we can do to help each student hit that growth metric that has been established for the state with SC Ready, and then also with our EOCs seeing how we can improve our scores in all of those particular content areas. And then we also had more discussions about the communications audit and you know the next steps that we're working on, the six recommendations that came from that, and just updating the board on how we're moving along with that. One of the biggest discussions was around the, the branding piece that we're looking at getting into. Uh, and that is a, a pretty lengthy process that we are planning on starting within the next four to six weeks. You'll be hearing a lot about this in the next few months as we uh, continue on how we can be more effective with our communication inside and outside of the school district. 
and those were uh, the primary items that we discussed. Uh, we also discussed briefly the, the new instructional materials policy uh, that all districts are having to look at uh, as we implement across the state of South Carolina and um, just a few other conversations. So that was the work session that we had this past Monday. Speaking of communications, uh, we do have a new district newsletter that you should have seen come through your email. We started that this month. We plan on having that every month for updates from the different departments that we have in the district office as well as any other items that we are trying to highlight. So hopefully you had a chance to see the new district newsletter that we will be continuing with on a monthly basis. And if you have any suggestions about what you saw uh, or what you would like to see in that newsletter, please feel free to reach out to either uh, Audrey Childers or Chris McKagan in the communications department. We also have something new that you're going to be hearing about over the next month or so. Um, our leave systems that we have in place are going to have an adjustment pretty soon. And currently, right now, our sick leave and our vacation leave is calculated in days. And so, you know, for example, when you pull up your medical uh, days that you have available to you, it lists how many days that you have. The new system that we are working with, Cronus, uh, which is our clock-in system that we have for a lot of employees in the district, uh, the new system is based off of hours of leave instead of days. And so we'll actually be doing a conversion from days uh, to hours, but we're going to be messaging this to you before that happens. Uh, we'll be explaining in detail what that's going to look like for everybody. There'll be no change as far as how much time you have available. It'll just be calculated in hours instead of days. So I wanted to at least start that conversation so you're aware of it when you start hearing about this. Again, that should happen sometime over the next month and we will be making sure to communicate as much of that as upfront that we uh, are able to give you all that information. Also, uh, with the start of the school year, we started our new cell phone protocols where we are not allowing cell phones to be used during the school day. And I know that was, this was a, a big change when we started off the school year, but our principals and our staff felt like it was best to start at the beginning of the year instead of wait to do this in the middle of the year when the policy came down from the State Department. But I've been really encouraged by how our students and staff have responded to our new directive with cell phones. So again, I, I urge everybody in the district to continue uh, to enforce the new cell phone protocols that we have in place, which is they are, they are not to be out for use during school hours. And uh, again, the more that we are able to really message this and enforce this, uh, the easier it will be for us all after the next four to six weeks. That's, you know, again, we get through the next four to six weeks, I'm confident that our students and parents will be uh, on board with how we are continuing with this through the rest of the school year. And again, I applaud all of you on how you have been implementing this uh, in your schools and buildings. Hall of Fame nominations. So we have our second Hall of Fame that we are seeking nominations for. This is uh, nominations that we will accept through October 1st. Uh, there's an application and link on the Darlington County School District website that you'll be able to find that. And to nominate somebody, this is for alumni of the Darlington County School District. To become eligible, they have to be seven years after they graduate from a Darlington County School District high school or for former employees and former Darlington County School District board members, they become eligible for induction two years after their employment with the district or service on the school board. So again, uh, a graduate seven years after they graduate, an employee or board member 
two years after they finish employment or service on the school board. Again, that is on our Darlington County School District website to click on the nomination form to nominate somebody for the Hall of Fame. And last, it is Labor Day weekend. And so we have a Labor Day holiday. Uh, Labor Day is Monday, and so we will all be off. All offices and schools will be closed for Labor Day that this Monday for this coming weekend. And we'll look forward to seeing everybody back on Tuesday for a short work week that um, I think we're all excited about, especially having a long holiday weekend. As I always tell everybody, hug on your family. Tell them how much you love them. Tell them how much we appreciate them sharing you with us. I hope you have a wonderful, safe holiday weekend. And I will look forward to seeing you the next time in the know.